praise the lord hallelujah glory be to god the tango for today it's another beautiful day i will give god all the glory in jesus name amen this is every word of god for the living <laughs> worship God. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Oh, faithful, that's who you are. You are only God. Indescribable, my sufficiency, oh Lord. That's who you are. You are faithful, oh faithful, oh Lord. That's who you are. I give you all the glory. We give you, Lord, honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor, I give you all the glory, Jesus. I give you honor, I give you all the glory, I give you honor. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen, you are so good and mighty, almighty oh, God, you are so good, you are so kind, oh Lord, almighty oh, God, you are so good, you are so kind, Jesus, almighty oh, God. You are so good, you are so kind, oh Lord, almighty oh, God. You are so good, you are so kind, Jehovah, almighty oh, God. You are so good and mighty, almighty oh, God. Yes, Lord, you are so good, you are so kind, you are faithful. You are Jehovah, the glorious God, the mighty God, no one like unto you. Blessed be your magnificent name. Lord, I worship you. No, like unto you, Father. Thank you, Father, Lord, for another time in your presence, another moment to hear your word. Holy Spirit, come and speak to us, O Lord. Speak to us, O Lord. Yes, concerning today, concerning our life, concerning our year. Thank you, Lord. Speak to us, Father. We submit ourselves to you, Lord. We open up our heart to you. Speak your undiluted word to bring salvation, oh Lord, to bring healing, oh God, to bring deliverance, oh Lord. Let the hearts and the minds of the people be open, oh God, to receive your word. Let the power of your word be released to heal the hearts of your children, to deliver your people, Father, and bring them to the understanding of your righteousness and holiness, to prepare us for the coming of you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, amen. Oh yes, let's strengthen 
strength be released. Let grace be released to continue in this race of holiness, to continue in this right, uh, this race of righteousness, unspotted, running this race every day with our whole heart, joyfully, despite the persecution, despite the beating down, but every day to lift up our head, oh God, to serve you in true holiness, getting ready for your coming, that at that day we will say unto you, yes, Lord, and you will tell us, well done, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we bless you. Thank you, Father. Be exalted, O Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Our topic today is the person and message to preach in evangelism. This is by Pastor Porika, the International Director of the Holiness Ever Movement Worldwide Short from Horemon. Hallelujah. Today is Thursday, September 1st, 2022. Glory be to God in the highest. Today is a significant day. It marks it the one year that I have been coming out here to say the daily devotional. By this time last year, I was out here for the first time to say daily devotional on basis and regularly I come out to say the day devotional and I give God all the glory for the strength, the grace, the ability to do this. Only God be praised forever in Jesus name. Amen. And I actually like the topic for today because this is the total reason why I am here. Personal, he said the, the, the person and message to preach in evangelism. This is a platform for evangelism, a platform to preach the Lord Jesus, the platform to win so the platform to encourage and uplift the children of God to, 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 the, to receive the grace to continue to stand in this way of holiness and righteousness. And I thank God for our dearly beloved Father in the Lord, Pastor Parika, that God has given the grace to be writing this daily devotional for us months after months. Yes, to God be the glory for his life. And we pray that God continue to inspire him in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Attesting for the book of Acts chapter 8 verse 26 to 38. You can take time to read that for yourself. I keep resting for the book of Luke chapter 24 verse 47. I read and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Amen. Let Jesus be preached everywhere in Jesus name. Amen. The person to present in evangelism is Jesus not another person, not even yourself, not a denomination, not necessarily a place of worship. Present Jesus. And if you will present Jesus, denomination mean nothing. If you present Jesus in your message, your denomination mean nothing. It does not apply. Place of worship means nothing. Philip read Jesus. That is the message of evangelism. Preach Jesus to your people. Preach Jesus to the, pe- to the people you are preaching to. The person to promote in evangelism is Jesus. It's, it's emphasized again and again and again. You don't want to go out to evangelize and start preaching yourself. Or the things that you have experienced. Or, you, or, 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 or your pastor. Or the miracles your pastors have that, that God has used your pastors to do. If it's a true man of God. Or you go and, and present once. You're you are going to present the Savior Jesus. Except the person that say, Oh yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a child of God. I know about Jesus. And then yeah, you say, Have you know about the power of God? Have you, 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 the Holy Spirit now will put words in your mouth to say. Oh, a word, convincing words to convince that person of that one thing that that person has not yet left. Of that one thing that is still in that person's life. You give yourself to the Holy Spirit to inspire you to evangelize to that person. It is Jesus that we preach in the place of evangelism. Place of worship means nothing. Philip preached Jesus. The apostles preached Jesus. That is the message of evangelism. Preach Jesus to the people. The person to promote in evangelism is our Lord Jesus. The demand to make on a sinner is repentance from sin and faith towards Jesus. Not towards your pastor or towards the name of your church. But it is towards Jesus. Preach Jesus to the people. 
The person to promote in evangelism is Jesus. The demand to make on a sinner is repentance from sin and faith towards Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Amen. The message is repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Repentance is in the gospel message. Repentance means stop your sin. Stop your sin. The members of your church should stop committing sins. The person who wants to serve Jesus should stop committing sins and believe on the Lord Jesus. That is the message that is demanded on sinners. That is why you should go out to preach that many will come to repentance, that many will stop their sins. You see somebody behaving the way you should not. You see somebody behaving unseemly. Oh, you have a friend close to you. Preach Jesus to that person. Preach Jesus to that friend. Preach Jesus to that neighbor. Preach Jesus to that person. You don't just know how God will work out those words to save that person. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell them to stop alcohol, not because it is burning them or turning their hearts but because of the fear of god tell them to stop immorality not because of hiv or aids but because they are guilty of immorality it is a sin tell him to stop stealing not because they will catch him and take him to prison but because it is a sin and it is a sin against God. God says we should not do it. Let the fear of God be in them because God says it. Therefore, you should not do it because the person may say, oh no, I'll be smart. I'll do it carefully. Nobody will know. Nobody will tell me, but tell the person that God sees even in the secret, in the dark place, in the mountains, in the cave, in inside, outside. If you go to the cloud, God is there. If you go under the ground, God is there. God is everywhere. Because he hates it, that is why you should not do it. God will punish him also if he does it. Let them know that all sinners are in hell. Whosoever that sinner shall die. Because God hates sin. If you sin against God, you will perish. Let them know. He should be guilty that he has sinned against God. And that is repentance towards God. He is, should be guilty of the sins in his life. Tell her to repent of her witchcraft. Not because she shall soon be discovered or be caught and be ashamed. But because it is a sin against God. God is unhappy with her because of that so because of that so she should repent and stop it because God hates it. Power to overcome sin comes from faith in God. Believing in God. Yesterday we spoke about faith. If you have not seen it, please go and see it. Faith in God gives you victory. Faith in God makes you excel over the devil. Faith in God is it, it's what is in between the promise of God and receiving from God. God promises you a thing. You see something from the scripture. You heard the word of God and you have it in your heart. God has spoken a word to you. What is in between you receiving it is now you exercising faith and patience in God, faith in God, believing that what God says, he will do it. Therefore, power to overcome sin comes from faith because many people say, I've tried, I've read the word of God, I've done this, I've done this, but what about your faith that God says that he will help you to overcome the sins, he will sanctify you. What about your faith? Why not just live in faith? that you will be sanctified. You will not do this thing anymore because you are trying your best because you have repented, because you have given your life to God and you now hate sin. Why not believe and have faith that now you have overcome? Hallelujah. That now you will not do it no more. So therefore, sin can live your life by faith in the Lord. Though you are sorry, but you are helpless except by power. Faith gives you that power to overcome. 
Pharaoh would not allow the children of Israel to come out of Egypt except by power. Hence God told them that he would demonstrate signs and wonders in Egypt and Pharaoh shall let them go. Did God do it? Yes, he did it. He, if Moses had so much faith in God that even when, uh, 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 even when they were to go, like a night before they were to go, or let's say a day before they were to go, God told Moses, you people should make the Passover. Get to your self ready this will be the last night you people will stay in egypt pack your bags get it ready because you will leave this night you will not see the next in fact the next morning you will go you will leave this night I don't know if you are getting me. God so told Moses and Moses held on on those words that he got ready. They made the Passover. Death came that that same night as the spirit of death passed through Egypt and killed the firstborn of Pharaoh. Pharaoh had it in heart like a sword in his heart. And he told them that same night, leave if they were not ready. If, if Moses, if Moses don't have faith in the word of God, he wouldn't have prevailed. He wouldn't have, he, he wouldn't have prevailed because in the morning, Pharaoh told them to, Pharaoh, Pharaoh's mind came back again. That evil mind he had came back again and, and went to pursue after them. If he had waited, maybe Pharaoh thought that they would wait in the morning after all is dark. But God has told them and faith in the word of God gave them the promise that God had promised them. So therefore, faith in the word of God gives you the power to overcome sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For whosoever be in Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Sin coming, knocking at your door. What will you tell Satan? All things are passed away. Satan and sin, you are old in my life. You are past. I know you no more. This person you are seeing here is a new creature. I am a righteous, holy child of God. Therefore, sin pass me over and you put your head straight and the sin keep knocking but you say I know you not because this person you are seeing here is a brand new person that is faith at work hallelujah is your flesh not talking though your flesh is talking you put your your flesh under and you walk in faith and victory and as you keep walking you see that you've already overcome hallelujah hallelujah may god give us the grace to walk in faith even in evangelism every aspect of our life we need faith faith of repentance faith to accept jesus faith to go out there and win souls oh faith to to know that you can move mountains in your life you need this faith in god may the lord give us grace that as we go out we will preach faith in jesus no faith in man no faith in your papa no faith in your pastor no faith in your denomination but faith on him on whom has come to die for us on the cross of calvary for greater love has no man except he that has come to die for us that laid down his life for us and that name is jesus hallelujah hallelujah jesus we worship you we thank you lord we bless you lord i give you all the glory and all the honor all adoration it is you that have come to die for mankind i pray that the spirit of boldness oh lord we enter into your children to come out to preach jesus to the world jesus to the world that the world will be saved and will come to repentance in jesus name amen hallelujah Praise the Lord. Our thought for the day says, preach Jesus to sinners and repentance from their sins. It is only sin that can stop one from going to heaven. It is only sin that can separate a man from God. It was sin that separated Satan from God that he was cast down from heaven. It is a sin that separated Adam and Eve from God that they were cast away from the garden of Eden. It is sin that can cast you away from the presence of God. It is sin that can prevent you from entering into heaven. Not even a spot, not a wrinkle will enter into the kingdom of God. So therefore maybe you, there's a sin in your life as I'm just saying sin, sin, sin. Your heart is just shaking and beating. My dear, this is another time to surrender your life to God. Are you a sinner are you asking for this power to overcome oh you have been living in fear oh this brother is coming oh hey we fall again oh this thing is coming look at this money oh this sister is about to walk away i will steal again sister you just said you will steal again you just said you will fall again you have 
spoken it from your mouth and therefore it shall be so. Why not speak faith and say that I will overcome? I will not take this thing. I will not fall to this brother. I will not do this sin. I will not. Why not speak faith instead of speaking as the devil wants you to speak? You see, as you spoke it, that was your faith that, oh, I will sin. You have just spoken it out. Your mouth, there is power in it. Live in faith and you will see. Speak the right thing. Think the right thought. Cleanse your mind and you will see your life living, overcoming life victoriously. Hallelujah. Just maybe you want to surrender your life to God. Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender to you. I am sorry. I have sinned against you. I repent from my sins. I turn away from my sin. I receive this power to overcome sin. Oh, not to go back anymore. The spirit of faith, grace from God, I receive. Oh Lord, I confess my sins. Begin to confess it to the Lord. Oh, he's hearing you. I confess my sins, all my sins. Oh, I forsake them. No going back. And I receive this faith in the Lord Jesus to live a victorious life. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. Thank you for accepting me as your child in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. If you said that prayer, I rejoice with you. Walk in faith. Speak positively. Think positively and cleanse your heart by the word of God. For it is the word of God that sanctifies it. God bless you. Have a glorious day in Jesus' name. Amen. It's like I'm forgetting something. Our thought for the day says, preach Jesus to sinners and repentance from their sins. This is who we should preach, Jesus. God bless you. Let this be in your thoughts all the time. Tell Jesus to that man. Tell Jesus to that woman. Ain't your life. See, there's something about evangelism. As you evangelize, the joy of the Lord fill your heart. The joy of the Lord take you over. The Lord solves the problems around your life. Even as you go ahead to do the work of God. As you go, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Have a great day. God bless you. Amen. (laughs) 